Do you have an OnlyFans? I would be open to selling some feed pictures. Do you really earn 20k per month as a developer? I guess that I will have to tell the truth. Was it harder for you to find a job as a programmer because you are a female? Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This video is going to be a Q&A. I decided to collect your most frequently asked questions and reply to them in this video. So let's start. How much time do I need to finish your course slash to learn programming? I will assume that you have seen some of your friends who are working remotely. They are on the other part of the world, uh, sitting on the beach or by the pool, writing the code, drinking the cocktail, and they are earning money doing that. So you finally figured out Okay, I could also do it. This could be me. So now you are wondering how long will it take? How long will it take for you to learn programming so that you are also able to do that? I will say learn for two hours every day from my practical programming course. Follow that path, the plan that I have created for you. And in six months, you can start taking job interviews. And if you can dedicate even more time than two hours per day, that's even better. But please don't tell me that you cannot dedicate two hours per day to something that can dramatically change your life. You know that you can, and you also know that it can change your life. So that is why you are showing interest in this. So my answer is two hours per day minimum and in six months you will have a solid foundation so that you can start taking job interviews. Do you really earn 20k per month as a developer? Is it possible for me to? When I published this video I said that I was making $20,000 per month as a software engineer and some people commented that it is clickbait. So I guess that I will have to tell the truth. Guys, the money is real. Boobs are the clickbait. Okay, I really thought this one was easy to figure out, but no, I have to say it. So to answer your question, yes, it is absolutely possible, but it's not going to happen overnight. At least for me, it did not happen overnight. Um, I had to work really hard for several years until I could achieve this. So many sleepless nights, many days that I wanted to spend with my family, with my friends, but I had to work. Many weekends that I spent working. So if you want to achieve it, you will also have to be ready for the same sacrifice. Now, one thing is that you will have to stop thinking about it as huge amount of money. Maybe Maybe it is a lot of money for you right now. It also was a lot of money for me at some point. But you have to understand that many companies out there are willing to pay a lot more for good developers because those same good developers are going to earn them even more money. And one thing that is a huge benefit for anyone who wants to be a programmer is that you are not limited to your city. You are not limited to your country. You can work for anyone in the world from the comfort of your home. And that is going to increase your opportunities indefinitely. So in short, yes, it is possible, but you will have to work very hard and for a long period of time. Which programming language will I learn in the course? In this course, we are going to write C Sharp, but you are going to learn a lot more than just C Sharp because I'm going to teach you how to solve any problem, how to break it down into smaller pieces so that it is easy to solve. Also, I'm going to teach you most important fundamental principles that are same across all programming languages. Here, I'm going to put course curriculum. And as you can see, from this course, you are going to learn all of the important principles and concepts that are the same in all programming languages. So you will get a solid foundation that you can apply in any other programming language in the future. These concepts exist in all programming languages and their logic is the same. The only difference is the syntax. And because I know that a lot of people have been learning C++ from my tutorials, here I'm going to put an example of a difference between C++ and C Sharp. As you can see, there is really not much difference. So the logic of most programming languages is the same. And in this course, you are going to learn that logic and you are going to learn problem solving skills and how to think like a programmer. And the reason why I picked C Sharp is because it is very versatile, which means that you can build almost anything with C Sharp. And also there is high demand for C Sharp developers. So you will be able to get a job very quickly and your pay will be very generous. Is your course suitable for beginners? Can I enroll even if I don't have prior coding experience? Yes, the course is absolutely suitable for beginners and you can enroll without any prior experience because we start from the beginning and I created entire plan for you. So all of the lessons and all of the exercises that you need to complete. So the only thing that you need to do 
is just follow that plan. And if you watched some of my YouTube videos, then that's great. That will be a bonus and it will definitely help you. How is the course structured? In this course, we are going to cover all of the important programming concepts that you will need when you start working as a developer. I'm going to show you practical examples so that you know how to apply those concepts in practice. Also, even before you start working, you will need to go through job interviews. So this course will prepare you for that part as well so that you know how to answer to those questions that you get on job interviews. All of the lessons in the course are pre-filmed so that you can watch them at your own convenience when you have free time. You will have also coding exercises and tasks that you have to do. And if you get stuck at any point, we have a community of other developers where you can collaborate with other people, you can ask for help so that you are not alone in this process of learning programming. Do I need a strong, expensive PC to be a programmer? No, not at all. You can do programming in both low-end and high-end computers, so that is not an obstacle for you to start learning. For example, you can start my practical programming course even if you have an old Windows laptop. Also, unfortunately, we currently support only Windows PC users, no Mac users, because I wanted my students to have the best learning experience possible and I currently don't have time and capacities to support Mac users as well. So for now, we only support Windows users and even if you have an older Windows laptop, that will do. You can start the course and learn programming without any problems because I am going to teach you how to optimize your application so that they don't take a lot of space. So that's not an excuse for you uh, to not learn programming. And when you get a job, you will be able to get a better computer for yourself. Not that you need it, but you deserve it. So treat yourself. What is the experience of other students who have started your course? Here, I'm going to put some of the messages that I received from the students who have started the course so that you can get a better idea of what to expect in the course. The course was launched less than two months ago and people are already building their own applications with the knowledge from this course. Those are usually applications that help them with working out, with saving money. Students are building projects for their university or there are people who already have a career but they want to change their career so they are using this course in order to learn enough to go through job interviews and to start a successful developer career. So you can find a lot more of these testimonials on Code Beauty Academy website and that should give you a better idea of what you can expect from the course. Will I be able to build real world projects by the end of the course? Absolutely, we are going to build a real big complex application in the course itself so that you can see how to apply all of the programming concepts. I know that a lot of you are watching programming tutorials and maybe you understand these programming concepts but you don't know how to apply them to build real applications. So in this course, you are going to learn that and you will be able to build real applications and you will also be able to get a job and start your programming career. Will I be able to find a job after your course? In short, yes, this course is going to give you more practical experience than any university will. And if you finish all of the lessons and all of the exercises, then absolutely 100% you will be able to find a job and to start a successful developer career. Was it harder for you to find a job as a programmer because you are a female? First of all, did you just assume my gender? Because how do you know that I'm a female? Is it the lipstick? Is it my hair, my boobs, the nails, the fact that I'm wearing the red dress? Maybe I'm not a female. Maybe I am a cat. Huh, I am a cat. <laughs> I'm sorry, baby. Or maybe I'm a small cat. <laughs> to be honest, this was my concern as well. When I was starting university, I thought, is this all going to be for nothing? Am I going to be able to find a job in predominantly male profession? But that was not the case. And also that mentality no longer exists. Ladies, please don't let anyone tell you that you cannot be a programmer just because you are a girl. In this profession, the only criteria that matters are your programming skills. That's all. Does the course offer any coding challenges? Yes, and I'm glad that you recognize the importance of practical experience and practicing. In this course, you are going to have many challenges, many tasks that you have to do, and when you complete them, then you will be able to watch my explanation and my solution as well. Is the course self-paced or are there any specific deadlines for completing the assignments? No, there are no deadlines. You don't need that kind of pressure at this point of your career. That will come later. You will see when you start working. So 
there are no deadlines. Just make sure that you don't skip any lessons or any coding assignments. There's a plan that I made for you. So the only thing that you need to do is to follow that plan. Will I get a certificate at the end of the course? Yes, at the end of the course, you will get a certificate that you can put in your CV so that it is easier for you to find a job. And together with that certificate, you will also get all of the knowledge that you need in order to get a job. And also not everyone will get a certificate. There will be tests and only the people who satisfy me, this sounds so wrong. So only the people who complete the test and get all of the necessary knowledge and skills will get the certificate. Be honest and tell us when did you start programming? I think you are one of those prodigy kids that started coding at six years old. No, no, you have no idea how wrong you are. I was introduced to coding for the first time when I was 17 or 18 years old when I started university. And prior to that, the only thing that I did on my computer was play games. So before I started university, I had zero experience in coding, but I was kicking ass in Counter-Strike. And now, 12 years later, I am very good in programming and I still kick ass. Counter-Strike. Can you provide a sneak peek or preview of the course? All of my YouTube videos are something like a preview because if you enjoy my teaching style and if you like learning from me, then you will absolutely love my practical programming course because I have put a lot more time and effort into it. My YouTube videos are usually 20-30 minutes long because that is how much time I have for YouTube. But in this course, I have put a lot more time and effort so we can really go in depth and explain some big complex programming problems that you need to learn and understand. Now, if you ask me if I have any specific video that I have filmed in order to show the course and to market, advertise the course, no, I have not because I'm not a marketing specialist. I'm a programmer and a teacher, so I have absolutely no experience in marketing and selling. If you have any ideas, any tips on how I should do it, let me know in the comment section. Maybe I should tell you that I will teach you a trick so that you can earn a billion dollars in three weeks, or even better, I will teach you a trick so that you can earn a billion dollars in 11 days. Yes. Uh, and I'm also going to show my boobs. That's what I'm going to do. So buy the course. The link is going to be in the description. What kind of support is available if I have questions? Okay, so we have a Discord server where we all hang out, we collaborate, chat, and there you can ask questions. The server is organized into channels. So each chapter of the course has a specific channel. And when you encounter a problem, you can ask a question in that specific channel. Because everything is organized, someone will jump in and help you very fast. Or, again, because everything is very well organized and planned, sometimes you will find the answer to your question immediately because someone else has asked that same question or a similar question. So we have Discord and there you can meet a lot of other great developers. I also hang out on Discord very often, so you will not be alone in this journey. What are some additional resources that you would recommend besides your programming course? Forget about other resources. The only thing that you need to do is to follow the path and the plan that is outlined in the course. Everything will be on one place, step-by-step step, explained in detail, so you don't need any additional resources. You don't need to learn from a million different places. And if you encounter any problems, then you can write on Discord and someone will help you to solve that problem. So no other resources. How do I stay motivated? I've started learning many times, but after some time, I just give up. I believe that programmers are like little gods because we have this power to create. You can basically write some words and symbols, and based on that, you can create something that has behavior and it has purpose and it can help people. So you can basically create something out of nothing. And when you get this skill, when you learn how to do this, then you don't want to do anything else. And that is what motivates a lot of developers, including myself. So it can also motivate you. Another thing that can be motivating is the money. That also motivates a lot of developers. Now, the worst is if you are comfortable in life, which means that you are not too good, but you are not too bad either. Maybe you have a job. That job pays you just enough for you to be unwilling to try anything else, to try anything new, or to put any more effort. On the other hand, I believe that a person who will give his last money for my practical programming course, that is the person who is going to finish it because he has no other options. He cannot be in the club partying with the girls, drinking every night. He will be at his house 
studying and working. And then when you see him in a couple of years, you will think that his success is overnight, but it is not overnight. It took him a lot of years, a lot of effort, a lot of dedication and discipline. And in this process, you are going to lose motivation. And the only thing that will keep you going is your goal, your discipline, and your dedication, the effort that you have already put in achieving your goal. So if you are someone who is motivated by money, then create a list of your goals. Maybe you want to buy a supercar, you want to travel the world, you want to pay out your parents' mortgage, you want to earn $10 million by the age of whatever. So write down those goals and then start working towards them. For example, when I was at university, a lot of my friends would party and go out all the time and they would repeat the year and their parents would just pay for another year of university. And I could not do this because I was on scholarship, which means that my government was paying for my university and they would continue paying as long as I had good grades. But if I slip only once, then I lose this opportunity. So at the time, this was very hard for me. But right now, I believe that it is the best thing that could happen because this taught me a lot of things. It taught me to work hard and to be disciplined. It also taught me how to live with a little amount of money. So later when I started working and earning the money, I continued to work hard and to learn. And also because I knew how to live below my means, what I could do is I could invest 90% of my income. So Right now, my goal is to retire in the next five years if I want to, and I'm working towards that goal. So the same way, you should also write down your goals and start working towards your goals. What sets this course apart from all of the other programming courses available online? Oh my God, this is such a serious question. Let me put on my serious face. No, this is my angry face many things. And most importantly, I would say that after you finish this course, you will not need any other programming courses. I was in your place not that long ago. I was also learning programming and I remember all of the problems that I had. I remember the struggle and I was watching these programming tutorials and I would understand individual programming concepts, but I didn't know how to apply them to solve real problems and to build real applications. So that is what you will learn in this course. I was learning a million things and I was on a million different sides. There was simply a lot to learn, too much. So from time to time, I would feel like this is not for me. I cannot do this. And for that reason, I created plan for you. I created exact plan of all of the lessons, all of the exercises that you need to complete. Everything is step by step. So the only thing that you need to do is follow through with that plan. Don't skip any lessons. Don't skip any exercises. And at the end, you will achieve your goal. What do you think about AI? I think about AI that it is a natural step in human civilization. I think that you should not see it as some evil that will destroy humanity like the movies have taught us because that is absolutely not true. Technology has always made our lives better. That is why nowadays you have cars, planes, you have a fridge, a shower, air conditioning so that I can sit like this in the middle of winter. Yes, that is thanks to technology. So I believe that AI also will replace a lot of jobs. It will replace bad programmers, but it will not replace good programmers. And I can teach you how to become a good programmer. AI has made my life easier. I live better. I earn more because of AI. I work less because of AI. So basically, I love AI. Does your course have money back guarantee? And what is the refund policy? Yes, you can try it out for seven days. And if you don't like it for whatever reason, you can get a full refund. No questions asked. There is absolutely no risk for you if you decide to enroll in the course and you can gain a lot. I want to buy your course. Can I get some discount? The first 100 people who enroll in the course from this video will get a special discount. So the link will be in the description. And if you want to enroll in the course, then hurry up and use this opportunity. Do you have an OnlyFans? I noticed a few people asking this question. So do I have an OnlyFans? The answer is no, I don't have an OnlyFans, but I can teach you how to make OnlyFans application. Also, I would be open to selling some feed pictures of my cats. They're quite nice. Let me know if you're interested in purchasing some of these. I have a lot more. So I believe that is going to be all for this video. I have already replied to all of the interesting questions. And if you have some more interesting questions, write me in the comment section and we can do this again some other time. Until then, I will see you in another video. Bye.